Welcome back to Coyote Classics. Today we're checking out still a classic, but a little newer classic. This is a 2000 uh, Dodge Ram Sport with only 49,000 original miles. Just a true time capsule, really quality pickup. And uh, we're excited to show it to you. And this is a special year for me and you too, because this is the year I was born. Really, D, that's right. Yeah. You were born in 2000. I was. You know, this is the kind of truck that most everyone wanted back in the day. Mm -hmm. um, I personally drove a Toyota, but a lot of my friends had the Dodgers. Yep. And, uh, Man, this is a great truck. This, it's what a time capsule. It is, 49,000 miles. You still see some of these on the roads today, but they have probably 249,000 miles and they're all rusted out. This one's just like going back and, and buying a, almost a brand new one, yeah. as clean as this thing is. It's got the 5.9 in it. Um, but the biggest thing is make sure you go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, check out the floorboards. It still has the original like sticker on the, on really? the air rockers. It's crazy, it's just rust free underneath. Super awesome. clean, uh, came out of uh, um, out east. So just a really nice, solid, low ownership truck. Yeah, extremely solid. It's got uh, newer fuel wheels on it and uh, looks like new tires too. So we got the paint and stuff on the front. We can't say it's all original paint, but I know most of it is. Um, and there's just zero rust on the outside of the body. Even the, the front suspension, if you look at our website, coyoteclassics.com, from the underneath, it's just super original and nice. You yeah. got a chance to drive this one, didn't you, Dave? I did, me and Ryan drove it. Just drives, drives like a new one. Um, and really loaded, too, as far as the interior. It's got the um, leather, oh, leather seats, upgraded sound system where you can change the you know, what speakers it comes out of, front, rear, it's left, right. got the leather, right. and it's also got the wood grain in here, too, on the dash and on the door panels. It's actually a four-door. A lot of times, you know, they had the three or the four-door. This one's got all four doors on it. And the leather and stuff's really in great shape. Your power seat. And look, none of the switches or nothing are busted. Isn't that cool? Really, the only thing you see for wear is just a little bit here on, your, you know, where you use your hand to yeah. recline it. But it's super nice. Um... One thing we have to do here is we gotta fix this. Yeah, a little, clip, broke yeah, piece a little clips there. broke. Horn Tack, ropes. gauges all work. We'll go through that on the drive video, but just really nice. Original floor mats. Door jams look good. Corners of the doors are perfect. No rust, never been a rusty truck. So yeah, these things aren't cheap when you find a time capsule in this shape, but you go buy a brand new truck with four and put 49,000 miles on it. This is something cool, something that's gonna mm -hmm. stick out when you exactly. drive it. Exactly. Like I said, it's still a classic. It's 24 years old now. Everybody's gonna want one that couldn't afford one back when they were my age. Yeah. Back when they were 20. I'll let you go around it and you're in a All right, good. better order. Headlights, they look crystal clear. Both sides. Even the grill's not all busted up. The front of the hood's not all chipped no, up. Oh, and we didn't buff the whole thing either. Yeah, this is yeah, this original paint here, you can just tell. Mm -hmm. You know, the sport version with the magnum in it is awesome. It's a little cold today and a little windier we'd be doing these outside. So we're gonna do some inside today just because of the winds blowing about 40 mile an hour. But we'll uh, take it outside and take it for a spin. The gap is awesome on it. Here's the biggest thing, you know, down in the corners of everything is just Super nice, the doors fit perfect. Like that. Rocker panel. And I like the side steps they put on, they're easily removed if a guy wants to take them off, but yeah. make it kind of nice to get in and out. It sure does, thanks D. This side's locked, so I'll unlock it quick. I must have hit the lock button. It's also got tinted glass, just a little tint to it. It's got the, um, the rear sliding window. Inside the box is all lined as well and in beautiful shape, not beat up at all. Power locks work. Good. Should go to key is annoying. <clears throat> um, door panels are like brand new. Seats look like, we noticed when we detail, it looked like it had a little leather repair right here. Um, dash pad is beautiful. I apologize, it's a little dark in here. I like the outside ones better, but there's not much we can do about it today. Like Dalton mentioned, original paint in the jams. 
Back seat folds up. It's got seat belts for three. Headliner's excellent. Dome light works. It's really about all to say. I mean, there's not many dings or nothing on it, is there? chips are really much to point out. Really straight. Even here, look at the tailgate. Look at the black on it. One thing I've seen is you got a small little ding on the tailgate. It's pretty much all I've seen on the old truck. And I love that they uh, rhino lined the inside, did a great job. You know, that's super clean. That's not beat up. It doesn't even look like mm -hmm. nothing was hauled in it. Uh -huh. Back bumper is awesome. Does have the attachment for trailer lights if you want. Got if the we look package. up and down the side, same thing. Super straight. Tires and wheels look great. I personally like them. Somebody here didn't, but I remember who didn't like them, but I like I them. I like them. I always like the fuels. Tires got awesome tread. But the biggest thing, these Dodges were rusty. I mean, I don't think this thing's ever been driven in the snow. It's all good solid metal here too. Yeah, it's all perfect as far as that goes. It's your cab corner. Pinch welds, look at that. Yeah, somebody's gonna have a hell of a truck with this one. Yeah. Um, should sweet. we take it for a spin? Let's do it. It starts so nice. One other thing we we're gonna talk about. It's got the uh, CD player and the tape. It's got the nice stereo system upgraded in it. On this side, uh, factory tack works 49,754 miles. Amp gauge works, oil pressures way up there, about 60 pounds, 70 pounds. Gas gauge works as well, heater fan works. Right. Remember how to turn this thing on? Did you have it working? There you yeah, go. there you go. What do you got here? Heated seats? In a 2000? Uh, yeah, I don't think Crazy. they worked though, but that was cool. MFM. FM. Four wheel drive shifter. What else we got up here? We got our uh, miles till empty, stuff like that. Cool. The headliner's 24 nice. degrees. A lot of times you see these trucks, the headliner's all saggy. This is kind of cool too. So it's got this nice radio. Yeah. But this we eating right in front of this. So we go front. Now it's in the rear. Left. Right side. That's a hell of a lot better than hitting the button all the time yeah. before you get it over. It's cool. Yeah. It's got the surround sound. I'm surprised power seats don't work, to be honest. Or the heated seats, you mean? The heated seats. Huh. I don't know. Probably because it was before its time. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't have it all worked out. No, it's kind of early in the. That's yeah, just neat. These are fun. Temperature gauge looks like it's coming up just a little bit. Like I said, stuff like this is just kind of a, a neat flex because you have something that everybody likes and is familiar with, but you've never, ever, ever seen no. this clean. No. Everybody, uh, like you said, who didn't have one wants one now because they can afford it. Yeah. Oh, the front end's super tight. I mean, just like I expected. You know, as you look at all the parts from underneath, they're all super clean. Brakes are perfect, no pull left or right. Me and Ryan were talking too, like these these late 90s, early 2000s trucks just last so much better. Like we were talking about like coyote hunting, you oh, know? Yeah. And you take a new truck through a field and you know, after after one day you got stuff broke or something like this, you could, you know, they just last forever, built stronger. Hopefully this thing, I mean, it's nice. It could stay in the Midwest, but I hope they don't drive in the winter. Yeah. I don't think this thing's ever been driven in the winter. Uh-uh. A lot of power. Kick down it does have just a little tiny down. little chip on that windshield. Very small. Other than that, the windshield's crystal clear too. It is. No wiper marks hardly or nothing. Steals up good even on our super windy day. Yeah, 70 mile an hour, 80. Straight down the road. Nice. Good truck. No vibrations, uh -huh. no nothing. Steering wheel is perfect. Yep. Alignment's good. Tire tires are balanced well. Heat brakes and high speeds. Turning signal indicate. It's like a brand new 2000 pickup. It is. It is. It? It's cool. Like a brand new truck. Check it out on the site, coyoteclassics.com. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next test drive.